What is going on guys, Carlos here from Everything Tech and in this video we're going to remove the FRP on a Huawei P9. So the first thing you're going to need to do is connect to Wi-Fi like I've uh, connected just now. And then as you can see, if you go next, uh, it will tell us that we need to put our Google account in. So if you need to remove the Google account on a Huawei P9, just stick with this guide and I will take you through it. So let's go back uh, into the beginning and what you're going to do, you're going to hold two fingers on the display until the menu come up, the talk back menu. And uh, mine is not coming up because I've done this already. Uh, but if yours doesn't come up, just click the volume up and down at the same time. And it should tell you that a uh, talk back has been initiated and try with two fingers like that. If it still doesn't come up, just draw an L on the screen to bring, bring up the talk back menu. Uh, it means that yours is activated already and you won't need to do this. So just draw an L on the screen and then you go to talk back settings. So select and double tap to uh, perform the action. So now what we're going to do, we're going to press volume up and volume down again to disable talk back so you can um, operate the device with one finger. We're going to go to help and feedback. And then we're going to go get started with voice access and you will see that there's a YouTube video. Just click on that, uh, play the video and then click on getting started with voice access on the top of the video. On the top, you'll see the share button. Just tap on the share button and then tap on email. And this is where you're going to have to add your email to it. So click on if your email is uh, on the list, just select it. If not, click on others, click on enable and add your email address to the top of the list. Uh, when you're done, click sign in and then just click next. Now we're going to need to compose an email. So click on plus and then you're going to put an, a different email from the one that you've, uh, that you've added. You've added an account, but you're sending it to a different email. Most likely you'll have more than one email or you can just send it to a friend or just create an email just for this purpose and then you don't have to use it again. Once you've put in the email on the top, we're going to create an attachment and this is where you're going to need your SD card with a file that I've attached in the description below. So what you need to do is click on the in the description below. There's going to be a link to a, a file, download it and place it inside on the root or like inside of an SD card. And then what you're going to need to do is you open the uh, SD card slot on the side of the P9 and you put your SD card in. This process is needed, I'm afraid, because uh, without, without it, you won't be able to unlock the FRP. So once you put your uh, SD card in the device, click on the, you see the little clip down the bottom, click on that and you're going to attach a file to it. So click on files and then select SD card and then select Android Quick Shortcut Maker, which is the file that I've attached below. Once that is done, just send the email. You see sending the email, when that disappears, on the top you'll see three lines. Click on it and then go to Outbox. In the Outbox, click again on top of the email that you've sent and click on top of the link of the APK. App Settings and then we're going to uh, allow unknown sources. So click on unknown sources, click OK and then go back and install the file. Click on top of the link again and then it will allow him to install the file. So click on install. Once this is done, click on open. And then you see where it says input keyword to filter. You're going to write Huawei or I don't know how you pronounce it, Huawei space home. As you can see, it's already there, but I'm going to finish typing it up so you guys can see what I'm going to do. So Huawei home and it should be the only option. Click on it and then the second option click on it and click on try and that should get you into the device so now you'll be able to use the device basically but there is still an account in there so I'm going to system settings to show you Android 7 is there EMUI version is 5.03 so what we're going to do now is go to the Play Store and we're going to log in with our Gmail account so you don't need to um, so I'm put my mine in already um, don't need to see that obviously you need to put your own Gmail account and then just sign in and um, once it logs you into the App Store that's it 
your device is now uh, has now got your Google account in instead of the the Google account that it had previously. Just click on restart. Just press the power button and click on restart. And then when it starts up, it will um, it will allow you to just use the device and you'll be locked onto your email account. If you're doing this for somebody else, obviously you need to reset the device uh, once you finish this process because obviously your email account, your Gmail account is going to be in the device now. It's going to be locked to your Gmail account. So if it gets reset, the account that you need to put in is going to be your Gmail account unless you reset it from within the phone. So um, now, as you can see, everything is uh, you're ready to use it. But TalkBack is enabled. Just volume up and volume down to disable TalkBack. Once you reset, all these settings are going to go back to uh, to the default. So uh, TalkBack is not going to be enabled. So as you can see, we're going to go back into um, advanced settings now. Uh, I'm just showing you that all the menus are now unlocked. You are connected to. You should be connected to your Wi-Fi. Just go to advanced settings. Then go down to the bottom and back up and reset and then factory data reset and as you can see my emails are the ones that are in there so click on reset phone as you can see you can read everything that is in there but reset phone and this process can take up to 15 minutes to reset the whole phone I sped up this part of the video because it was just taken too long and the video itself is long enough without you having to watch a phone reset. There's nothing new in here, but just do the same at your end. And uh, when it comes back up, the phone will uh, be completely reset. You, you can just go through all the uh, options, you know, like if, the phone, if you got the phone for the first time, insert your email address, and there will be no restrictions whatsoever. Uh, in fact, you can even go further and not connect to Wi-Fi at all or log into anything which you couldn't do previously. So just go next, select your region, skip, and then accept the terms of use, and then click next. And now you got Wi-Fi, you can just skip Wi-Fi. You don't have to connect to Wi-Fi, whether before you had to connect to Wi-Fi. And then just skip down and go next, set up as a new phone. I'm not going to disable, I'm not going to enable anything. So skip everything, set up as a new device, next. And then in here, skip and get started. And that's it. The phone is now completely reset. No account is on it. And you can just use it and use it with your own account. So you can log in with your own account without any restrictions as the phone is completely unlocked. So as you can see, Android version 7. Uh, there is another version for this. I don't think it's for this phone. I think it's the P10. It's got Android 8 and I'll be doing that one as well. So I guess this is it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you did like this video or if this video helped you, please give us a like and please consider subscribing so I can continue releasing more content like this. Well, there are more fonts to come, so just keep an eye on this channel because this channel is where all the FRPs are going to be. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.